I feel like Vitafly gonna recap this and say God he caught a 30 on the dime roll. So all y'all wanna know what happened, I'm gonna tell you what happened. He got smoked. That one was crazy out of the game. Sometimes that's Peter, nobody that knows body. Hit his area with 51. Everything in the Vitafly. We just do All that whole shit you doing just reflect you. I see your hoe and she go and she reflect you. She walk around and knock me down just to kiss you. No you already know what it is, man. Salute to the subscribers, that notification gang. Got my water, I'm about to go run. I've actually been um, working out, running. I've uh, worked out for about 58 days in a row now. I've lost about 13 pounds, you know what I'm saying? Just switching shit around, you know, work, being more healthier, more self-conscious, things like that. With all the corona and everything going on out there, you know what I'm saying? I just wanted to... Live a more productive and healthier lifestyle. But it ain't about me. It's more about y'all. Um, thank you for everybody that watches this content. You know what I'm saying? I always do that all the time because without y'all, there's no me. There's no Showtime SP. There's no get your mans. There's no when you start rapping like that. There's no none of that. Um, salute to everybody who um, asked about the sweaters and things like that. You know what I'm saying? I might do the pop smoke joints for like a day or two. It just I just didn't want it to be like that was something that we was really trying to profit off of you know what i'm saying but uh you know a lot of people have been asking for it so we probably dropped them joints for just a day or two and if you don't get it that's your business but um want to talk to you all about arp's blog yesterday uh you know arp salute to him rare breed entertainment everything that they got going on as far as with the social distancing and i know when they come back they're going to be doing big things as far as with battle rap and all battle rap leagues, you know, it's kind of like hand in hand, like with the battle rap leagues, they provide the content. We talk about it. We're just a medium to talk about it. People have got the channels that they love and they watch. And, you know, that's 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 a good thing. Uh, there should always be variety in what you watch and what you support and things like that. You know, what I mean, there's some people who like certain channels that don't like others. You know, there's some people that will watch this channel but won't watch that. And that's a good thing, you know, but um. Salute to the supporters and the people who do peep the content. So, ARP did a blog yesterday, and he was talking about a lot of things. Um, but the subject came up about Adi Boom and Sue Surf. You know, Adi Boom has been the subject of a lot of criticism ever since the Big K battle happened with the whole paperwork thing. Big K basically has ended his career. Like, as far as a, as a battle rapper, he's ended his career. There's, there's, there's not... I said it... Uh, um, in other blogs, and I said it when AR went, um, not AR, when um, Adi Boom was trying to steal, you know, I'm going to get my paperwork next week. The dog gave my paperwork. My paperwork got in a car accident with a parked car, and he was coming up with all these reasons why he don't have his own paperwork on him. I knew it was kind of fishy, and the reason why is because if you've been locked up before, like I haven't done any prison time. But if you know people who have been locked up before or you have family, I think we all got family that been in jail sometimes. God, you know, it's just a nigga thing. Um, it's it's not it's not it's not common for people to not have their paperwork. You know what I'm saying? Like everybody either has their paperwork or knows where they can get it because they be needing it for like work release, different pro like you be needing your fucking paperwork. Like you need your shit. And for him to just not have it and to not make a concerted effort effort to get it. Uh, kind of made us believe like the, the paperwork that we saw was kind of like what it was. You know what I mean? Like it is what it is. Like we can't, we can't dance around the fact that big K had a phenomenal angle. It played out well. And he basically ended this man career in one comeback battle. And niggas don't even like big K. A lot of people don't even like him. So for him to end your career, it's kind of crazy. You know, um, what I will say is this. I watched Jim's blog yesterday and Jim's made a lot of sense of it. He said, you know, you, you still have a life to live and you got friends that are outside of battle rap. Like battle rap is not everything. Like battle rap is not the world. Like things, shit will go on for you, but you can't, you're not going to be able to maneuver in a sport that's about the streets. That's about being real and hard and shit like that. And you got some shit like that in your jacket. Like it's a punchline in damn near every battle. I think damn near every battle that comes out, somebody's saying uh, we knew it'll point on them as soon as it started booming. And it's always going to be a punchline. People are always going to be talking about it. And, you know, it's just the way it is. Um, ARP made a smart, sound business decision to go on the record and talk about it because 
excuse me, because the fans are real fickle with people and they wanted to know like what side of the what side of the fence are you on? Are you gonna continue to support this? Are you gonna book him in even bigger battles knowing this and putting your brand on the line? Or are you gonna distance yourself, social distancing, salute to social distancing. I dropped uh Scotty Battle the other day. That shit was kind of fire too. And then y'all had the 40 cal versus um disaster. I like the 40 cal did in that. But um he had to distance himself. He had to draw the line in the sand and he had to put himself on one side. And I respect ARP for not going out there and talking about it immediately. But then after a while, like after it kept coming up again and again and again, and people really wanted to know where are you at with this? He basically said, uh, if you didn't see RP's blog, I'm here for you. Don't you don't you worry. Don't take this walk with me. I'm actually about to go run, so if you want to run, you can take this run with me. But um he said in a short paraphrasing that AR that uh Red Breed Entertainment hasn't done business with Adi Boom in since the battle, and he was like they don't have no intentions on doing no business with him. Uh, he was like, they've supported him in the past. They supported him when he was in prison. I told you, when I had went to Rare Breed Entertainment the, for the media, all it was was you had to give a donation to Boom to get in. So he held him down. He did his part as far as holding him down the whole time he was away. You could take nothing away from Rare Breed Entertainment. But once something gets thrown out there, like what's going on with the whole telling shit, they had to distance themselves from him. Uh, the world has started to slowly open back up. Motherfuckers is in restaurants. People is at beaches and shit. So you know the courts in every state is open. He could have got his paperwork. This is something that happened in March. We about to be in July in three days. He made no attempt to get it. Therefore, we're going with the fact that what was put out there is what it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? Like, Because there's nobody in the world who knows that there's some shit out there that somebody said about them that's not true as far as with the courts and talent. That's not going to get their shit. Niggas would have broke into court to get their shit. Are you crazy? Are you, are you crazy? My nigga, what? 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 Come on, fam. Um, so, with that being said, Rare Breed Entertainment has a brand to protect. They book him versus Sue Surf. Are you crazy? Are you dumb? How are you dumb? Like, do you know what the fuck would happen if they booked him versus uh, Sue Surf? Like, what? Niggas would go crazy. Like, the blogs would be on fire the same day they booked that shit. Like, it would be crazy for them. It'd be lit for him, you know what I'm saying? Like, niggas would go crazy for him. So I think that they made the right decision in separating themselves because they have way too much to uh, way too much to lose. I think it's way too much to lose at this point. Uh, they got a huge brand, a growing brand, an entity that's respected, probably the second, I would say probably the second league right now. Um, but they do take shots. They do set up their events. They do have big name battles and shit like that. But booking somebody like Adi Boom in the midst of all of that, that could fuck you up real quick. You know what I'm saying? Because they'll be like, you co-signing this shit. You know what I mean? But, um, you know, like I said, ARP been here too long for this. And um, I think that the people wanted to know where he stood. That was the biggest thing. Uh, you could know if you know ARP and know how he moved. You knew where he stood. But I think the vocal the vocal thing was what was needed they wanted you to talk about this shit they wanted you to talk about it and i know he didn't he said in his blog that he didn't really want to talk about it he wanted to just move how he moved but when you have a light in a platform such as rare breed entertainment niggas want they want that word um he also talked about the daylight situation you know what i'm saying as far as with uh him and daylight going back daylight been trolling a lot recently uh, I've even went back and forth with him. Like, he hit me, I hit him, we speak. So, Daylight is very uh, aware of what's going on in Battle Rap. He says he's focused. Hopefully, he is focused on um, the battle he has coming up. I just think that, uh, you know, it could be it could be definitely fire, but Daylight can't play around. But you never know what you're going to get with Daylight. Uh, we know that Daylight versus King Los was supposed to go down on Rare Breed Entertainment, but it didn't, you know what I'm saying? Daylight backed the car out the driveway and was like, whew, didn't happen, didn't send the promo in, battle didn't happen. So, you know, maybe one day we could see Daylight on Rare Breed Entertainment again. Maybe, I don't know, but uh, I, I, I respect how ARP moves from a business perspective. Like, you're not going to put your whole business on the line. But he's booked Daylight before. I seen Daylight versus Ill Will. That was a fire battle. So 
you know, we'll see where that goes. But overall, ARP has basically distanced himself from Adi Boom. He ain't fucking with it. He didn't say specifically why. Like, he didn't say, yo, this nigga's a snitch. We not fucking with him. But you could read, salute to Math Hoffa, you could read between the lines and, you know what I'm saying, you can pretty much understand that he was basically like, yo, we putting this nigga in rice. We not fucking with Adi Boom. And I think as far as the battle rapper, it's pretty much over. Like, for Adi Boom, it's over. Like, you're not going to, who's booking him? I mean, niggas might, there might be some little side, side show Taco Bell Battle League, some little side shit that'll book him. But he was never on URL. They're definitely not going to book him. King of the Dot is definitely not going to book him. And, you know, Queen of the Ring ain't going to book him. So, you know, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a wash at this point. But, excuse me, you still got your life. You still got your future. You know, maybe you can be a teacher or go in and fucking do some, be a janitor, do something. But the battle rap shit's just not going to work for you. You know what I'm saying? Um, because the fact that there are people sitting in jail right now while you got out in five years is not a short time. It's crazy how you got out after five years and all that time don't mean nothing. Niggas don't give a fuck because there's niggas who sitting in jail for longer than you. You know what I'm saying? Like, it is what it is. Like, you, you, you told on niggas and they have the paperwork to prove it. They have the paperwork to prove that you did it and you don't have the paperwork to prove that you didn't do it. That's a bigger problem. So when that happens, it's a wash. You know what I'm saying? But, uh, you know, hopefully he'll, uh, he'll, he'll figure it out. Uh, but when ARP, who's the bag in the league and was probably your biggest supporter, when he's not supporting you no more, it ain't nice. Adi Boom's career, put in rice. I'm gone. Salute to my guy Showtime SP. <sighs> Should've been